Welcome to Dobby's Repairs, I'm Dobby the Fixing Elf and in this video I'll show you how to replace the rear disc and pads on a 2009 Ford C-Max. So let's get started. So as you can see, I have the car off the, up in the air and the wheel off. As you can see this disc is in pretty bad shape, so we'll start by removing two black caps off the caliper guide pins. I'm sorry you can't really see them in this video. But they are two little caps that go in the back of the pinholes. The bottom one will be easier to see, so that's the first one out. And now we'll get the second one out. Just use a little screwdriver or a pry bar like this to pop out. And now we're going to remove those caliper pins using two, using a 7mm head socket or allen wrench. As you can see, they break off relatively easy. They shouldn't be overly tight. And you just have to work them out with your wrench. Once you get them out, once you get all the threads out, you can move on to the next one. So I'll pop back up to the top one now, this is the bottom one when I'm doing. And now here we are back on the top one. Again, just give it a good old wrench and it'll pop off nicely. Let's hit the camera again, sorry about that, but once you just break it loose, you can and do them by hand as you can see me doing here. So I just pop the um, 7 million at the back of it again. These are hex heads that I mentioned earlier. And then all we have to do is continue working out the fastener, the caliper guide pin. Just keep running it out with the um, hand, as you can see, it's coming out nicely. Nice and easy, and it will slide out. The bottom pin is a bit stiffer to slide, but it does come out relatively easily. And now we can remove the anti rattle clip or the caliper pin. It just pop out nicely. Make sure you remember how they come out and put them back in the same way that they come out. More on that later. And you can see the brake pad come loose and it's jamming up the pad. So I'll get a pry bar in here and we'll just pry it out. Just gently work it off. The caliper is still quite extended. It's also worth mentioning make sure you take the handbrake off when you're working on the rear brakes. And once you get it off, should pop off relatively easily. There we go. And now it's off. We can remove it and the pad will fall down completely. These pads are really thin. They are really quite bad pads. We'll hang the caliper up somewhere just for a moment just to keep it safe. Now we have the caliper out, we can give it a quick clean with some brake clean before we start compressing it. You can get a special tool for this. My one I've got doesn't work on this particular set of rear brakes so I'm going to use a pair of pliers and with, when you're using the pliers the key is to press down as you're twisting to put pressure on also a good thing to mention make sure you've got your brake master cylinder open take the cap off so it gives the fluid somewhere to go I didn't film that on this video but it's well worth remembering to do you know, all you have to do is just quickly push it in it is a lot longer with pliers ideally for the proper tool this would only be a few minutes it took me about 10 minutes to compress this caliper on both sides. And once you get it nice and flat and level, like this, when the job's done, and we're ready to put the new brake pads in when we're ready to get to that stage. So we'll move the caliper out of the way again, and we'll remove these two 30mm fasteners that hold the caliper bracket on. The top one wasn't as tight as the bottom one. If you see it broke loose with just a ratchet. And yeah. The bottom one I had to use a breaker bar on. So we just have a breaker bar for these. And yeah, just once you break it loose, they'll work out really nice and easily. These did have some Loctite on them, so I'll put some Loctite back on them when I put them back on. Again, these are 13mm. Yeah, just work them down. Find somewhere nice to put the caliper. It go to the brake, handbrake cable, it wasn't really easy to hang up. So I just had to keep jiggling it around as I did it. As you can see, the caliper bracket's coming loose now. Yeah, just keep working it around. Once you get them out, nice and easy. Work these two off. Does it help if you hold the caliper as well? And now the bottom one's coming out. Should be too much longer. There we are. And the caliper bracket's free. Now we'll move on to cleaning up the caliper bracket. I started with a wire, hand wire brush here. Just want to clear the groove with the brake pad set. And you see there's plenty of dust coming off it. This will stop the brake pads from sliding nice and easily. 
Just give them a good clean with that. And then some brake clean just to clear off any more brake dust. Now it's time to remove the disc. This one was rusted on, so I'm just going around it and giving it a gentle tap with a hammer. Just to burly loosen up any rust, rust and stuff. This works quite a good technique. And then in a moment I'll switch techniques. Now I'm going to give it a gentle tap on the open side of it. And you can see the disc pops off nice and easily. It's well worth doing the first bit first, just to loose up any rust. And now we can get the disc off. You can see it's quite a badly worn gritted disc. So many grooves in it. Now we're going to clean up the axle hub. Or rear hub. Just with a wire brush first of all. You want to get it so the disc will sit flat when you put the new disc back on. It's worth checking the wheel bearing while you're in there. See if there's any noises. This one's really good, so we don't need to worry about that. And then I decided to move over to a wire brush and a drill, just to get things cleaned up a bit quicker. Just give it a nice good clean. You see, just work your way around. You just want to make sure there's no surface rust left and get as clean as possible. This will make installing a new disc a bit easier and a bit less hassle. Yeah, once we work it all off and get it nice and clean, or as clean as you can get it. We'll move on to the next stage, which is cleaning the brake disc, or the new brake disc, so I say. Here's the new brake disc. We can give it a quick wipe down with some brake clean and some paper towel. So make sure you clean these because they come coated in oil, and we don't want the oil to affect the braking surfaces and contaminate the new brake pads. So give them a good blast, and then wipe them off. And then flip it round and put it back on the other way. I'll be taking this back off because I'll be putting some copper grease on in a minute. But yeah, the main thing is to make sure you just give it a good clean. Plenty of brake cleaner. Get everything nice and clean. So there's no oils left and give it a good wipe off. Now I'm going to be applying a bit of uh, copper grease to the um, hub face. This will stop the brake just sticking in case you need to take it off. Which makes the next time you go in here easier, which is always good. Once you get it on, that's that step. Time to put the caliper holder back on. The caliper holder back, as I say, back on. Again, we just need to pop the 230mm to be removed. As I mentioned earlier, I stuck some Loctite on these, as there was Loctite on already. Just line up the bolts, and then we can tighten them down. So that's the top one in. We'll line up the bottom one, that you can't really see on the footage, but it is in. And we'll just keep working our way down. And then we'll tighten it up. Just snug it down. The same with the bottom one, just work it in and then just tighten it down nice and tight. And now, here's just a quick look at the old brake pads versus the new ones. As you can see, the old ones are really worn out and really dangerous, and these nice new ones that are going in. So, now we just slip the new brake pad in. The one with the little spring on goes at the rear, and the other one goes at the front, as you can see me doing here. You just slit in, slot in nicely like that. And now we're going to be removing the old the caliper guide pins and greasing them and cleaning them. So this is the bottom one. We don't uh, any orders. You can put them in either way, the way around. Which is pretty good. Some brake pins are slotted to specific areas. So we can use a bit of brake clean and a wire brush to clean these up. Give it a quick blast with some brake clean. Just get all the heavy corrosion off and all the heavy muck off and the wire brush just makes quick work of cleaning up the rest of the way. We'll be re-greasing these in a moment. And if you clean them up you don't need to replace them. Get them nice and shiny. Now we're going to be using a bit of rubber grease. This is my favourite grease for brake pins. Helps protect the rubber and keeps everything nice and lubricated. You just want to put some on and then you just need to work it back and forth. Make sure the whole pin is covered, so you've got a nice smooth surface to lube, of lube on it. And then once you pop it back in, make sure it slides nice and freely, as you can see this one does. And then repeat the same step for the top one. So again, some red rubber grease. And then just slide it in the hole. And now we can put the caliper back on. As long as you've got the um, piston compressed enough, these sli slip on really nice and easily. And then all you have to do is just start tightening down the caliper slide pin bolts. Again, I'd like to do this by hand to start off with, to stop any cross threading. Obviously, if you find this video helpful and useful, please drop me a like and a sub if you want to see more content. 
Now we just carry on, just tighten these down. And I'll get the ratchet involved and just tighten them down into the tight. You want to keep working them until they're nice and tight. And that's the bottom one tighten. We'll just do the top one. Just work them down, they don't take too long at all really. Nice and tight. And now we just need to put the um, cap back on the caliper guide pins. Make sure it's good, stops any dirt getting in there. And now we just need to move around the front and pop the caliper anti-rattle clip on. Full disclosure, I realised I put this one on wrong. As you can see it's going on here. This is how it should look. Make sure you put it on the right way. I didn't notice until after I finished filming that I put it on wrong. So I've changed it now, it's all back to normal. But make sure it goes back on like this. So the caliper pins are touching in the caliper bracket, holder bracket. And yeah, just give everything a good clean now. As you can see, there's the wrong pin. I have changed it. But give everything a nice good clean. So make sure there's no grease or anything on the brake disc before we go and test it. And you want to pump the brake pedals to get the pressure back up. Make sure everything spins nice and easily. Check the handbrake. Also remember to put the cap back on the master cylinder. And yeah, that's how you change the rear brake disc and pads on a 2009 Ford C-Max. If you enjoyed this video, why not drop a like? Any questions or feedback, let me know in the comments. I normally drop two videos a week. So if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, you should, and then you'll never miss another video. Do you know anyone else who would enjoy watching this video? Then feel free to share it with them. Thanks for watching until the end. Have a sensational day.